Hey everyone, I just want to welcome you to another beautiful day. I don't know where you're located, whether it's nighttime or daytime, but nevertheless, it is a beautiful day and we are so grateful to the Father for sparing our lives to see a day when so many people didn't wake up today. They didn't wake up this morning, but we are here and that in itself is a blessing. So hallelujah. Um, today's word that I want to bring to you comes from Daniel chapter 3 and what the Father has revealed to me through this chapter I'd like you to take your time and read it but you would see that Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego they basically disobeyed the king's decree to bow down and worship a gold statue whenever they heard the music play whenever this specific thing took place they were supposed to bow down and serve a false god but they chose not to they chose to stand up based on their beliefs and who they know the most high hallelujah the almighty yahuwah hallelujah jehovah jireh they knew who he was to them he was their creator he was their i am everything that they needed him to be they revered him they feared him they respected him and so they refused to bow down to Nebuchadnezzar rule and order to worship his false god. As a result, they were thrown into a fiery furnace and <laughs> this furnace was heated way hotter than it was supposed to be. So you can imagine they were supposed to be incinerated before they even hit the bottom of that furnace, but they didn't, they survived. In fact, the king and some of his servants saw that there was a fourth person among them and they said, well, that, that looks like the son of God. The, the, this, this is, that's like an angel. What is, who is that down there with them? We threw three men in, but they're four, hallelujah. And that's when the king ordered them to come out and they did and he said, wow, you serve the most high God, hallelujah, which is who we serve today the most high God. But what does this mean right now for you? There's so much happening around the world. There is the pandemic. Outside of the pandemic, people are going through different things. They're going through divorces. They have lost a family member or a loved one. They have lost their job. Whatever the situation is, whoever your Nebuchadnezzar is, and whatever decree he has put down, the Father is saying to you today, do not fear. Do not fear because you will not be burned by the fire. Your clothes will not be singed. You will be protected. There is nothing that can harm you because once the Father is for you, who can be again? So he is saying to you, do not fear. Do what I tell you to do. Go where I tell you to go. Say what I tell you to say. It doesn't matter what they threaten you with. It doesn't matter what they say to you. It doesn't matter if they say you will lose your job. It doesn't matter if they say, well, if you don't do this, you will lose your house. You will lose your car. You will lose your children. No, you stand in agreement with the Most High God, the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father of Yahushua HaMashiach, Christ, as you know, Jesus Christ, the Father, the Creator, you stand in agreement with His Word and say, Father, because you have told me not to do this, I will listen to you. I will not allow fear to overtake me. I will not allow myself to be dismayed. I will not sit here and quake in fear because you are greater. You are the Almighty Yah. I want you to remember with Moses when he had to go to Pharaoh and the Father had already showed him beforehand these are the different things you will do to show who I am. And one of the things he said was he would drop the, the, the rod and it would turn into a snake. So basically when they, he had the opportunity and he dropped the rod, it turned into a snake. The, the, the magicians, Pharaoh magicians, dropped their rods and theirs turned into a snake as if to say, hey, well, your God is not special. Well, guess what? The rod that Moses dropped, the snake, ate every single one of the magician's snake. What is that saying? The father is saying that I am the most high. He is saying I am greater than the magicians and the sorcerers, the kingdom of darkness and Satan. They are below me. They are created beings. I have created them. And as such, I have the final say. I decide 
what will happen in your situation. So if I say stick to me and do what I say to do, that's what you do. Do not make a decision in fear. You be confident and filled with peace in the decision that I gave you. The decision that I gave you that don't worry if they threaten you with the fire because even when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. So be encouraged, brothers and sisters. Remember that the Father loves you and he's prepared everything for you before you even could have thought to ask him for it. Hallelujah. And everything that you pray for that is according to his will, he will do exceedingly and above that. Be encouraged and look forward to the deliverance that he has already secured for you. Continue to be in peace. Continue to trust in him. And I want to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. See you next time.